Real Friends by Shannon Hale and Yulan Pham. When I was little, I didn't worry about friends. After all, I had mom. Okay, what time on Wednesday? Don't be so clingy, Shannon. Yeah, you're not a baby anymore. I just wanted her all to myself. But then, I started school. 1979, Salt Lake City, Utah. You've got to go now. No, kindergarten is starting. No, it's okay. You'll make friends. T says t, t, t. W says wa, wa, wa. It's okay. You'll make friends. Y says wa, wa, wa. Mom used to tell people I was shy, but suddenly I wasn't anymore. I had a friend. Adrian, and she was all mine. Leave her alone, you big meanie. We had the best adventures together. Let's go downstairs. Okay, we can pretend we're Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. I didn't understand what exactly Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders were, but on a TV show I've seen, all girls wanted to be one. So I wanted to be one too, if I could also be super strong. Please love us. No way, we're too busy to be lovely. We will make you love us. Ha, get him, Fluffy. Good boy, Fluffy. Finn, sick. Good boy, Finny. Everybody wants us, but nobody can have us. Go, Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders! If I wasn't playing with Adrian, I was probably reading. Kids will be okay as long as they have one good friend, you know? Yeah, she's doing a lot better. She has a best friend. Wendy, on the other hand. Wendy and Laura were close in age. So were Cynthia and Joseph. I felt kind of alone in the middle. Laura, 9. Wendy, 11. Cynthia, 2. Joseph, 1. Shannon, 6. What are you playing? And then you try to shut down the force field? Shut down the what? Don't try to stop me, rebel scum. Want to make a sand castle? Sand, sand, sand. I think if we all reach out to Gail, let her know we care. Shannon, you're too big to sit on my lap. Go play. Hey, Shannon. Adrian. I loved Adrian so much. I just wanted to kiss her. I didn't ever do it again. By second grade, I wasn't the only one who wanted Adrian all to myself. How about we play Wonder Woman? But there's only one of her. We could be Wonder Woman twins. We both wear red, blue, and gold. The bad guys think we're just weak little girls. You hold her friend. But they don't know we're really the Wonder Girls. Get her! Ah! Let me go! Adrian! Yeah! Ah! Don't touch me! Yow! Leave her alone! I did it! I saved you! Stop it! Stop what? Just stop it! But he was... I wanted him to kiss me. Really? But if he, if he wanted to kiss you, he should have asked first. Oh, and his stupid friend had no right to grab me. I guess not. We could be called the Wonder Twins. They already are Wonder Twins, and they're purple. How about the Wonderful Girls, or Girl Wonders? And then, Adrian was gone. Adrian's parents bought a new house, and she changed schools. Shannon, can't you walk faster? Wendy didn't have neighborhood friends to walk with, so now that Adrian was gone, Mom told her to walk with me. Heavenly Father, please don't let anyone buy this house. Bless Adrian to move back home. In second grade, I met Tammy. Mrs. Fitzbiggins, please send Shannon to the office. 
Today's Tammy's first day at our school. She's in Mrs. Bronner's class. She'll be staying with your neighbors, the Andersons. They are her um, foster family. Do you know what that means? No. It means, well, that Tammy's mother can't take care of her right now, so the Anse Anse Andersons took her in. Um, okay. I'd like you to walk with her each day, show her around. Can I count on you to be Tammy's friend? Sure. Tammy, this is Shannon. Hi. Hey. That store is Table Supply, but everybody just calls it Table. Gummy bears are one set each. Oh. That house gives whole candy bars on Halloween. I won't still be here by Halloween, I think. That's Adrian's old house. She's my best friend. Tammy and I were together almost every day. Let's play Wonder Woman twins. Actually, Adrian is the other twin. I guess you could be a triplet. The evil doer I hiding out in this old warehouse. Um, uh, their secret plot is to get rid of all the girls in the world. There they are, attack! I don't really get what we're doing right now. I know, let's do a fashion show. I'll wear the peach and cream gown. I'll wear the sparkly purple dress. In the spring, Tammy was still there, and Adrian still wasn't. We should do a lemonade stand on Saturday. I get to go visit my mom again. Why does she only visit her mom? Her boyfriend Steve is really nice. When we do something bad, all he does is make us stand in the corner for five minutes. What happened to your dad? He's not around anymore. Oh, let's make wishes. I'm gonna wish that we're always best friends. I wish Adrian would come back. A few months and lots of dandelion wishes later, Tammy was going home for good. Bye. Okay, bye. Later, I felt bad that I didn't hug Tammy or anything, but I was way too excited. Adrian! My wishes had come true. Jen. First day of third grade, and I was so happy. Adrian was back. One good friend, my mom says that's all anyone really needs. But I wasn't her only friend. Adrian already knew Jen because they went to church together. Hey, Jen. Hey, Adrian. We were all going to be in the same third grade class. I'm glad you moved back. There was something about Jen. Though my school was full of Jennifers. There was only one Jen. Jen and Adrian had a lot in common. Smart, pretty, confident. I could see why Adrian might want Jen as a best friend instead of me. Jen danced ballet. She played flute and piano. She was the fastest runner at recess races. And she never seemed to get hurt or sad, unlike. But Jen already had a best friend, Jenny. You're such a baby, Shannon. So maybe Jen wouldn't take Adrian away from me. I don't know who first named it, but Jen and her friends are called the group. There's the group. The group is so cool. Jen's brother is the most popular boy in East High. Everyone wants to be part of the group. Of course, Adrian was a member, but I wasn't sure if I was. Come on, Adrian. Okay. I love Michael Jackson. Me too. Me too. Yeah, he's my favorite. I don't know who he is. Do you live in a hole? I felt crummy all day. Hey, Shannon. Jen says she likes you because you're honest. Really? Jen likes me? The next day, I officially joined the group at recess. Jen, who do you like second best after me? Um, Adrian. Who do you like third? First Jenny, then Adrian, then Sarah, then Emily. And Shannon can go last. My family didn't exactly line up like Jen and her friends at school.
but I was used to feeling in last place. Sometimes I even felt scared. Shannon, you go that way, we'll go this way. But, but... Safe. Gotcha. No, no. It's just a game. Calm down. Yeah, why are you such a crybaby? I don't want to be it. I don't want to be alone. Mommy, Wendy called me a crybaby. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. At least when I was playing a game, I knew the rules. Jen, can I sit next to you at lunch? There were rules for members of the group, but I wasn't good at figuring them out. I already dibsed. Well, you can sit on her right side and I'll sit on her left. Adrian already dibs on the other spot. Then he dibs sitting across from you. Aunt uh, Jen, can I sit on your right side at lunch tomorrow? I wanted to sit by Jen too, but I had to count the bricks in the wall. There were 36 in a row between the third grade hall and the lunchroom. 15, 16, 17. If I didn't recount them every time I walked by, I felt yucky. My brother is the quarterback at East. And my sister will probably be the head cheerleader next year. Everyone says we have a legacy family, which is cool, I guess. Hey, Jen. So I made these IDs for us? Secret Charlie's Angels? I don't get it. We're secretaries by day, answering phones and typing and stuff, and no one suspects that we're also a super cool undercover crime fighting team. The evildoer are escaping down this dark alley. Yeah. The lineup began to change. Another of the group's unspoken rules no playing with non groupers. I'm going to Hades house after school today. Haiti? Oh. What? You know what you'll be playing? Dollies. Is playing with dollies bad or something? Hey, Haiti. I'm excited for you to come over. So, what do you want to play? Dollies. Um, I forgot. I can't play today. Tomorrow? I'll have to see. That was a close one. I bet you love playing with dollies. I do not. Shani loves dollies. Jenny was mean to me. Don't be so sensitive. Mrs. Wilcox, I have a tummy ache. I love the last day of school, partly because we got to see our report cards. So you did your homework, you just didn't turn it in? I did turn it in, I swear. I guess my teacher lost it. That was your excuse last term. I thought I knew how to make things better. Look at my report card, Dad. A, A, another A. I'm so proud of you. On Sundays, we read scriptures together. So, what was Joseph like? He was righteous. He obeyed his parents and God. And how about his brothers? They were mean to him. So in our family, Shannon would be Joseph, and Wendy is like Joseph's brothers. No matter how Wendy treated me, I was determined to be righteous, just like the prophets. Wendy, what? I just wanted to tell you that I forgive you. I didn't get why that made her even matter. When Wendy wasn't mad, she was the most amazing person ever. Hi there, folks. Welcome to the Brown Barbie. Can I start you with some purple milk or some pickle juice? But when she was mad? Summer was almost over when I got the best invitation of my life. Spend the week at cabin on Bear Lake? Really? Yeah, I'd love to. Hi, I'm Shannon. Um, is Jen here? Her name is Jennifer. Wait here, she has to finish her piano practice before we go. Jen's big brothers and sisters sure had won a lot of first place trophies. 
Jen had asked Jenny and AJ in first, but they couldn't go. I guess I moved forward in the lineup. We dubs the bunk beds. Nice try you get the floor. Brr. Do the donkey paddle. Arf. We're high school private detectives following clues to a kidnapped girl. Also, I'm a prime ba ballerina. I was sure the school year couldn't change our new friendship. Jenny. Just before fourth grade started, E, P, wait, no, F, or it is an H? I could see everything more clearly. The leaves on trees, the mountains, my friends. I was so excited for the school year, the entire group was together in one fourth grade class. Jen and I were good friends, and I could see. You got glasses. Yeah, hey, remember our song? Won't you be my Bronco girl? What are you guys talking about? Oh, nothing. Just a silly song we made up Bear Lake. You went to Jen's cabin? Yeah, it was awesome. Jenny and I had a lot in common. We were both, both sort of popular because of our more popular best friends. Though her way more than me. We were both squish in the middle children. I had four siblings, Jenny had eight. I remember Jenny from first grade. Jen had been in a different class, so Jenny wanted Adrian as a substitute best friend. Let's make the I hate Shannon club. Adrian, sorry we're the I hate Shannon club and you can't be a member. Well, I don't want to be anyway because I hate you. The I hate Shannon club only lasted one day. Well, for Adrian at least. Hey, four eyes. Four eyes? I only have two eyes. Watch it, Carrot Top. Mom had told me Carrot Top was a nickname for redheads, but I didn't get that either. I don't have green hair. Besides, when people said Carrot Top, it sounded like they were saying weirdo. I can't believe you. What? What just happened? I had trouble keeping track of when I was in and when I was out. Emily, Sarah, um, I don't need anyone else on my team. Jenny's selling lies about me to Jen. Why would she do that? I think she's mean, but she's nice to me. I feel trapped on a stormy sea. Up, down, at home too. Up, down, up. Dad thinks it's too short. It's so cool. Down, stop, stop. It felt like living in a house with a wild bear. Isn't anyone else worried about that bear? The bear never really bothered me, but the bear. Berry berry shortcake, teddy bear. Remember that time, don't be so sensitive. You have to let things go. Okay, we're going out, be good. No, don't leave. Who's our babysitter? I think the bear is old enough now. But, 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 I'll just lighten her chain a bit. I'm going to put Joseph to bed. Don't make noise. Hey, Wendy, can we have some? I told you to be quiet. At school, it was getting harder and harder to stay in the group. The group was my world, and Jen was our queen. Your Majesty, Tiny told Haiti I pick my nose, but I don't. I decree Tanya is banished. What? Wait! Tanya, you are hereby banished from the group. Never speak to us at recess again. No! Your Majesty, um, Jenny tells you lies about me so you won't like me. Jenny is my best friend. I know, but 
You like me because I'm honest, remember? Wait, I'm sorry. I won't complain anymore. If I told on Jenny, would Jen believe me? Or would I be out for good? All a person needs is one good friend. But if I wasn't in the group, I'd lose Adrian. Sorry. I'm sorry for whatever I did. That's okay. Want to come over this weekend? Really? Sure. Hey, Jenny. Can I borrow your eraser? Yes, Um, give me a sec. Here, Justin, you can have mine. There was one group of fourth grade boys equal in popularity to the group. We weren't exactly friends with them because of cooties, I guess, whatever cooties are. But we did call them anonymously. Hi, is Greg there? Hi, Greg, this is a rating call. What would you rate Jen on looks and personality? The boys never rating called us. I guess they didn't care what we thought about them. Would you rate Adrian on looks and personality? Or maybe they were just too busy playing Fogger. Let's call Justin. Hello? What do you rate Jen on looks and personality? 10 and 10. How about Shannon? Um, I don't want to give numbers. Just say something. Well, I don't really like redheads. But maybe if she dressed better? Sometimes if you stare really hard and don't blink, you can dry tears. Monday, the new Shannon. Curled hair, brand new sweater with attractive collared shirt, fancy cowardly pants. Hi, Justin. Hey. Today we're going to do some creative writing. Examine this painting and then write a story about it. Who knows, maybe one of you will become an author someday. Shannon, would you sign my book? Wow, I get to be friends, best friends with a real author? Mine too, please. Shannon, you're amazing. I'm so proud to be your sister. Thank you. I'm so sorry I was cruel to you when we were younger. I, I forgive you. For Christmas that year, my family got our first computer. Now I could write a book on a computer, like a real author. What if we wrote a book together? We could figure out the story first, act it out. A mystery story. Remember that mystery we made at Bear Lake? Yeah, like that. And then we can go inside and write the story on my computer. We have to run. The orphanage masters are coming. It's no use. They'll be able to follow our track on the snow. So cold. Let's walk through the dry stream to hide our footprints. If only we could make it to the monastery. The nuns might have some clue about who our parents were. The only clue we have now is the mysterious locket I wear and this mysterious birthmark on my hand. Oh no, they found us. Run! Come back, girlies, back to the orphanage. We'll work your little fingers to the bone. Shannon always has the best games. Walking to school the next day. Hey, Shannon. Uh, hi, Jenny. You always make up the best games. Thanks. I've been thinking about a game we could play at recess. It's called Sewer. So the Thetterball pole is a sewer. That morning at recess, and whoever gets thrown in the sewer has to stay until a free person gets past the guardians. But that's my game. No, it's not. You stole the idea from me, liar. Shannon, you don't have to be the one who only makes the games. Yeah, let Jenny have a turn. Shannon gonna sulk like a baby? I'm not a baby. You're sulky, baby, baby. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. It just seemed like... Red Rover, Red Rover, send Jenny right over. 
Jenny wanted me gone. Ow! When Jenny spoke to me like this, why don't you just run away and cry? You're so good at it. I wanted to answer like this. Jenny, I don't like how you treat me. I want to be your friend, but you need to be nicer. Instead, it comes out like this. You're mean. I hate you. I spent a lot of time hiding in bushes. And when Wendy babysat, I did that at home too. Where are you? Don't you dare tell on me. You're such a baby, Shannon. You can't stay out here and freeze. What are you doing? You're such a baby, Cynthia. Just mind your own business. Shannon, why are you still up? Later. Wendy, you need to apologize. Why doesn't she apologize for being obnoxious? Every new day, a new fight. Mom, Wendy threw a book at me and she told me she hated me. You two need to work it out. But, but, when I stand up for you, she just gets madder. From now on, I'm staying out of it. Before, I'd always seen being sure Mom was on my side. How's school? Fine. How are you friends treating you? Fine. I was too busy to talk anyway. I had to flex my legs each time we pass a tree. If we didn't end on an even number of trees, I felt yucky, empty. 52, 53. Whenever it was just Adrian and me, I felt better. And then maybe the runaway orphans get caught. They get caught? Ooh. Yeah, but they escape through a secret tunnel into a mysterious boat pulled by mermaids. I wish Adrian would leave the group with me. It is one of my favorite daydreams. A revolution. And then we'll be free. We? <laughs> uh, I, mean, I mean, the orphans will be free. I didn't dare ask her. And this guy is all, oh, I'm so hot. And she's like, oh, baby. I was just wondering if you wanted to go to the mall or something. You will faint at the sight of my muscles. Oh, okay, never mind. Why do you have to be so obnoxious? I'm not, you are. You think you're better than me, don't you? Poor little Shani, she's the perfect angel and everyone should feel sorry for her. Tell the truth, Adrian. Don't you think Shannon is obnoxious? Well, sometimes. Guess what? Turns out your friend are sick of you too. Adrian just was telling me that she doesn't even... Everyone actually hates you. Your friends hate you, even mom and dad. You're worthless. She's complaining of stomach aches again. She's missed a lot of school. It could be an allergy to milk. Let's take her off dairy. Blech. But it wasn't milk I was allergic to. Ah, uh, home sweet shrub. Oh, hey. Hey. Mean friends? Yeah. Don't let them get you down. Okay. You too. Her name was Kaya. She was younger than me, so only I so I only ever ran to her in the bushes. Sometimes I wished. Oh, this? This is my pet lion, Shanata. I'm so sorry I was mean to you. Please forgive us all. Can I be part of your group? I tried to turn this daydream into a story. But it stayed in my head. I couldn't seem to write stories alone. Hey, Adrian, here's an invite to my party on Friday. Thanks. Jen isn't talking to me again. Do you know if Jenny told her something about me? Nope. Oh. Do you want to come over after school? We could write more in our book. But I just sit there while you type. That's because I have better ideas. Jeez, Shannon.
What? Hey, Jenny, um, invited, am I invited to your party too? You know, everyone talks about you behind your back, right? Sometimes Jenny lied, but sometimes she didn't. When I finally did ask Adrian, please quit the group with me. We don't need them. We can form our own group. But then they'd be mad at me. Besides, I like having more friends than just you. I wanted all those feelings to stop. 62, 63, 64, 65. I imagined dying. I dip sitting next to Jen during the bureau. No fair, I already dibsed already. Sometimes I tried running away. But my imagination got in the way. Maybe if I tried hard enough, I could just cease to exist. Where'd Shannon go? Who cares? Yeah, I never liked her anyway. Free at last. Well, I like you. Thanks, Jesus. Zara and Veronica. For fifth grade, I put in for Mrs. Brennan because my older sister had been in her class. I didn't know, but most of the group had put in for Mrs. Lord Chill, even Adrian. You'll still be able to play with your friends at recess. Adrian is in Mrs. Lord Chill's. Jen is in Mrs. Lord Chill's. Do you know anyone in your class? Just Amy and Nicole. You could invite them to camp. Trefoil Ranch, summer 1984. Amy had always been near the end of Jane and Jen's lineup. Nicole was a new member. She had moved into our school in the middle of fourth grade. Maybe with two friends in my class, fifth grade would be okay. Heavenly Father, please make this a good year. Please let the group be nice to me. My last day of summer tradition, reading in my backyard. I didn't find out until later, but the rest of the group spent the last day of summer playing together. I made a foolproof plan for success in the new school year. Fourth grade Shannon, glasses, pathetic. Fifth grade Shannon, no glasses, confident, popular. That's why I didn't know most of the people in the class list. Look at all the little fifth grade babies. Ha! Huh. Sixth graders, fifth grade Shannon, still pathetic. When I caught up to the rest of the group at lunch times. 28, 29, 30. The places by Jen were already dibsed. At least I still had Adrian. Until I didn't, she transferred suddenly to a gifted and talented program. Hey, Jen, remember Bronco Girl? So, are you auditioning for the Nutcracker? Yeah, next week. I'm going to wear... I prayed so hard and wished on all the dandelion puffs, but this time Adrian wasn't coming back. When he asked me to go with him, and I thought, okay, but there he is. Let's run. I call second captain. Can I be first captain? Jen is first captain, duh. I don't have to be always first captain. Of course you do. Hey, can we play something besides base soccer? Yeah, Jenny told me you said you're sick of base soccer and sick of us too. What? I did not. And that's why you wanted to be in Mrs. Brennan's class. I didn't know that you guys put in for Mrs. Lorcha. Yes, you did. I told you last year when we were walking home from school. You did not. Why are you always lying? Now's the part you run away and cry. Something in me snapped. I'm not playing with you guys anymore. Whatever. Go be a baby, Shanny baby. We don't have to do everything Jen says, and we don't have to be afraid of Jenny. Let's make our own group. Who's with me? If you leave now, you may never return. That's fun by us. Um, anyone? If you guys don't want to be part of the group anymore, but we do. I'm not leaving the group, ever. 
Okay, well, let's play. I did it. At last. Victory. I was finally free. I wasn't sure leaving the group was the right choice. At least I had friends. Now, sometimes I was so sad I could barely breathe. So I tried one last time. Are you guys sure you don't want to start our own group? No, I'd rather stay with them. Yeah, me too. I guess that was it. I had left the group for good. I had burned the bridge to Jen. Even the fifth graders who weren't in the group didn't play with me. I felt less brave than ever, not nearly brave enough to work on my own stories. Oh, hi. What happened? Nothing. Yeah, me too. Sometimes I just wish. Yeah, me too. Hello? May I speak to Adrian? I did it. I love the group. It was a revolution. Yeah, Jen told me you're not friends with them anymore. I guess not. So my class is fifth slash sixth split. Half of the class is sixth graders. So my classes are in high schoolers. Seriously? Are they mean? The boys in my class say that high schoolers push them around, but everybody's cool to me. That sounds nice. So, I should go. Sometimes I hanged out with Nicole or Amy after school. We could write a book together about two cousins who found out their moms are secret queens of America. Let's call it, um, two cousins queens of America? My mother the queen! That's good. So the story opens. In school, in class, at the airport, as they arrive in America from England. So you want to do something else? Oh, okay. We can hang out in my room. By the way, I love your style. This jacket would look totally amazing on you. You can have it. Um, okay. Recess was the hardest. Hi, Shannon. Lacey was a sixth grader in another class. I knew her from church. Hey, Lacey. I was wondering if I could maybe play with you guys. Rebecca doesn't want to hang out with a fifth grader. Sorry. The stomach aches, the worrying, and she's always counting things. Sounds like anxiety. Lots of kids grow out of it. Shannon, try not to worry so much. Okay. It was a long autumn. But when winter came, something changed. Mrs. Brennan made us move desks, and I was sitting beside someone new. Her name was Zara, and she was cool. Zara. Cool hair. Cool name. Cool style. Veronica. Cool best friend. New hair wave. Daring. Fashionable earrings. I feel like I'm a kindergartner again. Remember the kids who would eat the paste? Nasty. Yep, but they made it look so yummy. One, two, not yummy, <laughs> but not that bad. Who was that? The group? Were they your friends? Yeah. But now they're not? Nope. Well, they're a bunch of turd monders, aren't they? Yeah, clearly a bunch of turd monders, all of them. You know, I never realized before. But they are kind of turd mondery. Do you want to hang out with us today? On the outside, I was like, yeah, okay. But on the inside? Zara and Veronica were just walking around and talking. Maybe sixth graders were too cool to play games. Apparently, sixth graders were also too cool to wear parkas and moon boots. I thank thee for new friends. 
And please forgive me for calling the group mean names. I promise I won't call people names ever again. I learned about Veronica's mother's new boyfriend and Zara's father's flirty friends. They were nice to everyone. Hey, Don. It was a new kind of popular. Hi, Becca. There was a place on the field where the snow had melted into a ditch and turned yellow. That looks like a pee hole. What? There's a lot of pee. How many people had to pee in there to fill it up? Or did, like, an elephant pee in there? Uh Uh-oh, did I say something stupid? So, like, all the animals come here to pee? Yeah, is there a special pee place? And they come out when... (laughs) Hey, what's so funny? Nothing, just pee. You're funny. And your hair is so pretty, I always wanted red hair. Grown-ups sometimes said red hair was cute, but kids always thought it was weird. Are you serious? Totally. Red hair is so exotic. Recess tomorrow. Meet at the pee hole. The next day, I risk being babyish and introduce a game. The secret agents of the poop dome are trying to find the location of the pee hole. We must protect it at all costs. Z-girl, you've got a boogie. Six o'clock. It's Victor Von Stuhl, a poop dumb agent. Whatever you do, loose him before heading to the pee hole. I know. Z-girl, this is Black Sabbath. I'm on your nine o'clock. Another boogie. Uh Uh-oh. It's the Turd Brothers. I've been made. Black Sabbath, time for Operation Speed. Roger that, Red. Z-girl, on your right. Red, we need backup on it. You'll never find the pee hole. Never. The pee hole is safe another day. Don't let them find the pee hole. I spotted two more poop dome agents. Besides the occasional raiding call, I mostly ignored boys. All right, class, please take your seats. But in sixth grade, apparently boys and girls became friends. Young man, if you can't behave, go sit in the hall. Ten four, good buddy. All right, class, settle down. That was so funny this morning, Ammon. Thanks, Red. That's so cool that you're friends with sixth graders. Really? Yeah, too bad that at the end of the year, they will go to junior high and you'll stay behind. Come on, let's go play soccer. With the boys? Sure. Roar! Ah! We should always play that. Call it monster soccer. Ah, that's great. Hey, Kyla. Hey. I promise I'll never call people names. You know, they're all a bunch of turd monsters. Yeah, a bunch of uh, leaf munchers. But I felt maybe this one time, at least, Jesus would understand. Wendy. My 11th birthday party. Most of the group didn't come. I didn't have to feel sick to my stomach like usual, worrying about whether Jen and Jenny were having a good time. These are great albums. Yeah, you're going to love them. Thank you. My first music. A while later, Wendy planned her own party. I mean it. I don't want Shannon or Cynthia or Joseph coming out and ruining it. Okay, okay. She invited a bunch of people to come over after some high school game. Mom? Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. I just really hoped things were better at her new school. Wendy's always had a hard time. Mom's starting to tell me more about Wendy. Wendy, second grade. I'm sure there are girls you want to play with you. Uh-uh. Listen, I'll buy you a bank of candy. 
Take it to Reese's tomorrow. And share it with some girls who want you want to be friends with, okay? Hi, Candace. Hi, Tiffany. Um, do you want some candy? Sure. So, can I play with you? Okay, let's play. Grab the candy bag. I win. Wendy, junior high. Hang on a sec. Mom, Julie wants to know if I can sleep over. Yes, absolutely. Of course, anytime, of course. Who is Julie? She's in my third period. I don't think she has a lot of friends. So, I don't know, maybe we could be best friends or something. Yes. Um, hi, I'm Wendy. Wendy, I'm here for the sleepover. Sleepover? I'm so sorry about the mix-up. The girl who called said she was Julie. Well, Wendy can still sleep over, right, Julie? I guess so. On school on Monday, Wendy found out what actually happened. Hey, Wendy. How is your sleepover with dirty Julie? We thought you'd be perfect for each other. Fifth grade was almost over. Next year, we'll be the queens of the school. Oh yeah, sixth grade is going to rock the Bashbach. Hi. So, you're friends of Zara and Veronica? Yeah, they're sweet. Did you ever end up reading The Ghost of the Blackwood Hall? I kind of got tired of Nancy Drew. Me too, but I still love the mysteries. Have you read Remember Me When I'm Dead? So spooky. Have you read Westing Game yet? Jen, everybody's waiting for you. Let's play monster soccer. I call monster, monster, monster. Hey, Shannon, what? Ow, stop it. No way Jens wants you in the group after your sixth grade friends graduate. It'll be all alone. What electives did you choose for next year? I was worried that Jenny was right. Summer was only a week away. Um, home ec? Home ec? Heck yeah, we get to make food. I dibs to sit next to Jen. No, I did first. Well, I dibs her right tomorrow. I already did. Friday then? Guys, can we not do this anymore? Hey, Shannon? Yeah? Jen? What if she asked me back to the group? Shannon? Can it be part of your group? My group? My group? My group? Jen wants to be part of my group? But also, what? I met a Jen like this. But really, she was like this? Really? Okay, I'd like that. I was getting sick of being the leader of the group. Really? Everyone waiting for me to tell them what to do. But your friends don't do that. Well, Zara and Veronica are going to junior high next year. Yeah, I know. So maybe we can keep our group small and not make anyone line up. Yeah. Hey, want to share a locker next year? We can fill it with candy. And corn nuts and beef jerky. Remember Bronco Girl? For field day, our new group went shopping for outfits. In the latest style. Mendona lace gloves, multiple belts, fluorescent colors, big bows, big loose shirts. We just walked around, practiced being sixth, sixth graders. Hi Vicky, hi Molly. I wanted to try out Zara and Veronica's kind of popular, the nice kind. Hi Regan. Hey Jen, can we play with you guys? Oh, uh, sure. Shannon? Hey, so can I be part of your group too? I want to be nice, but I can't let Jenny keep hurting me. I can't, I can't, I can't. Um, no, sorry. Summer, 1985. She's not even 18 yet. I don't know how to stop her. Wendy was moving to Los Angeles to become a model. Wendy always did seem too much for a house, for a neighborhood. Maybe Los Angeles would be big enough. 
Sorry. The day's finally come. My freedom. You must be pretty sick for sixth grade, huh? I... I'm scared. I found myself telling her stuff I haven't told anyone. Then Jen said, can it be part of your group? No way! And it's not like I even have a group, really. But then Jen asked too, and I said no. I bet that felt good. I don't know, Jenny's in our class next year, so... Yeah, that could get ugly. Maybe I'd better be to make peace with her. What if she keeps lying to Jen, and makes Jen hate me, and it starts all over again? Still, believe me, I know. Friends can't live with them. Can't live without them. Sometimes I just want to go, ah, ah, ah. Write to me in LA. Tell me what happens with the Jennifers. Okay, I promise, promise I'm going to be the first person you'll tell when you get your first kiss. Blah. You could totally wear this. Green looks amazing with your coloring. I always wish I had red hair too. Seriously? Hey, put this on your locker next year. Billy Idol is so hot. Jen will think you're really cool. So, how do you want the furniture in here when it's your room? Right away, I wrote a le Wendy a letter. Once upon a time, there was a girl with red hair who believed her destiny was to ride alone. But an old evil was rising in the Northlands. At the final moment when all seemed to be lost, she cried out for help. The many friends she had made on her journey heard her call, and they came running. After all, no one's destiny is to be alone. The end.